Best for Soil, Compost Tea, Practical Information, Advantages and Disadvantages. Hello, my name is Lawrence and I develop and commercialize equipment for the production of compost teas. This was the result of my studies during which I became a huge fan of this natural method of soil health improvement. The concept, advantages, but also disadvantages will be presented in this Best for Soil video. Compost tea is a water solution full of biotic and abiotic compounds derived from compost. After the extraction of the microorganisms contained in the compost, they are multiplied during the brewing process. There are different types of compost tea. The main factors that determine the nature of a compost tea are source material, oxygen content, additives. Compost as the source material, which can be thermophilic compost, like windrow compost, or cold compost, like vermicompost, influences strongly the nature of compost tea. You will find a lot of information on the different compost types on the Best for Soil website. Another factor is the oxygen content of the tea during the brewing process. Compost tea can be aerated or not, resulting in aerobic or anaerobic conditions respectively. The third important factor is the addition of nutrients to feed the microorganisms during the brewing process. Compost teas are applied to the soil or to the above ground plant organs. Compost teas are in first line applied to the soil by drenching or spraying. The goal is to enrich the soil microbiota, especially by increasing the number and diversity of soil microbes. In intensively used soils that are poor in soil organic matter, compost tea can bring back important soil microorganisms which are not present anymore in these soils. Among these microorganisms are such that are antagonistic to fungal pathogens present in the soil. Compost teas contain also microorganisms that are antagonistic to pathogens of the above ground plant organs, such as grey mould or powdery mildew. This is the reason for the second application way of compost tea, spraying the plants. Depending on the aimed use of the compost tea, the scale of its production varies. Small-scale production is intended for use on smaller surfaces, such as nurseries, smaller greenhouses or home gardens. Large-scale production will provide compost tea for bigger surfaces, such as fields of arable or vegetable crops or larger greenhouses. Commercial compost tea brewers exist for small to large-scale production. Smaller quantities can also be produced with self-made installations. Numerous tutorial videos on compost brewers can be found on YouTube. The following information on the advantages and disadvantages is valid for aerated compost tea, the most widely used type of compost tea. The production of compost tea is simple and its application is easy. Once the brewer is acquired, it is a low-cost method. It is a natural method and therefore also applicable in organic farming. The volume and weight of compost tea is small compared to compost application, especially when spraying is used as application method. Compost tea fits perfectly in a minimal or no-till strategy as it has not to be incorporated. The composition and efficacy of compost teas vary widely. The populations of microorganisms, but also the content of nutrients and minerals can be quite different from one compost tea to another. Compost might contain plant or human pathogens if not produced properly. In such a case, there is a risk that compost tea made with it contains also such pathogens. This is especially a problem when the compost tea is sprayed on the above ground plant organs. Once the compost tea is brewed, it has to be used immediately. It cannot be stored. In contrast to a compost application, compost tea does not increase the soil organic matter. Knowledge on compost tea is still relatively sparse. There is need for more research and experience from practitioners.